Welcome to another episode and today I'm here in Gorontalo, a unique province here in Sulawesi. I'm very excited because I'm going to spend some time with the whale sharks. The worst roads I've been on in Sulawesi so far. And this is one of the only places in Indonesia where you can see the Babi Rusa, pretty much guaranteed. It's just an amazing rainforest. This episode is a first part of a trip snaking back down the strange shaped island of Sulawesi where I'll be visiting some of the places I couldn't get to last time. Starting here in Gorontalo, I will then head down to Palu and visit the mysterious megalithic valleys of Napu and Besoa. I will go through Mamasa in West Sulawesi, Olon Valley in Taraja and down to Makassar and Bira and I will meet up with the one and only Christian Hansen. But first, I will be joined by my long-term girlfriend Kezia, where we will travel together and have many adventures, motorbike trails, wild camping and much more. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now please, enjoy this episode. So we are on the way to somewhere special here in Garantalo. And we're going to go see some whale sharks. Just outside the city, only 15 minutes, is a place where you can see the whale sharks. The last time I was here, there was no whale sharks. I was unlucky. I was here for two days, didn't see them. But this time, I have a good feeling we're going to see them. Yeah, here, here, this one, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Whale shark beach. Nobody else here, look. So this is the whale shark place of Gorontalo and here somewhere hopefully fingers crossed we're gonna see whale shark and one of the interesting reasons why this place has whale sharks why they're here is because that over there is a shrimp factory so they they throw in the heads and the legs and the bits disregarded pieces of the shrimp into the water and the sh whale sharks coming and that's why they're here how many whale sharks are we gonna see hopefully more than 10 <laughs> 10 oh. okay yeah okay see ready to see some whale sharks Oh, do I, babe? Look. Oh, do I? See? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, we're lucky. We've got two. Uh, hey, how is it? Easy. Oh, my God. Look at that. These gentle giants are completely harmless to humans. They do not bite and are only eating small plankton, krill and shrimps. These are juvenile whale sharks, only a fraction of the size of their parents which live in the open ocean. However, they are still absolutely massive and it's incredible to be able to swim so freely with these amazing animals. Well, this place is just amazing. That was incredible, seeing the whale sharks. 
And I think we got here just in time as well because there's so many people coming now. And we was here at 6 a.m. It's now 8 and we had it all to ourselves. It was only us with the whale shark. It's amazing. After visiting the whale shark beach, we head towards another area in Gorontalo province on the bike. It's only a short drive away and we are told it has an incredible view over the flatlands of Gorontalo. This is Benteng Otenaha, and it was built in the 16th century. And look at the view from up here. Now it's quite a popular tourist attraction, but luckily we have the whole place to ourselves. No one really knows exactly who built it. Was it the Dutch? Was it the Portuguese? Or was it the local people? That's up for debate. The local legends tell you that it was the local people who built it, but some information says that it was the Portuguese, and some information said it was the Dutch. Anyway, whoever built it, it's in a beautiful location and it's overlooking this amazing lake. It really is nice. And this is one of the huge lakes here in the flatlands of Gorontalo. In this lake, the local people are using floating nets to farm fish. Mostly it's the Nila and Tilapia. For the place we are going to next, we need to buy Wellington boots. And Kezia is absolutely covered in jellyfish stings. Sting by jellyfish. Look at this. Oh my god. Wow, that bit's really bad here. No way, man. Yeah, like that. Wow, oh my god. You can see it in the light. It's I can't even it. explain how it feels. Now, on the way to Nantu Forest. But we need to find some food. There's no meals included. We are looking for some simple food. Eggs, mee garang. So we've left the city behind. Now we are going to a place called Nantu. And this is one of the only places in Indonesia where you can see the Babi Rusa, pretty much guaranteed. A Babi Rusa is somewhere in between a, a pig and a deer. Babi means pig, Rusa means deer. But it is actually a kind of wild boar, but it has these very, very strange tusks and teeth coming out of its head. Very unique and only found in Sulawesi. And this is probably one of the only places where you can reliably see them now. It's going to be one of the highlights of Gorontalo, I think, this. Going through all the farmland and the villages. It's the middle of nowhere. The scenery is absolutely wonderful here, but I wasn't expecting how difficult this journey was going to be. Yeah, it shouldn't be easy. It's gotta be hard if you're gonna go somewhere like this. Wow, beautiful around here though, right? Oh, this is the worst thing for my bike tires, is the mud like that, litching. <laughs> Wooden bridge. Wow. <laughs> wow. So far in Gorontalo, the roads are uh -uh, no good. The worst roads I've been on in Sulawesi so far, Gorontalo. So something's going on with the, with the government here and the roads, because they're not spending any money on the roads for sure. Okay now. Okay. <laughs> wow. But that's that. <laughs> oh my god. I hope we're going the right way. And a real bridge.
Oh, that's okay. Easy. Yeah. <sighs> this place is just insane. The river's flooded, there's no bridge. I've got to somehow get my bike across there. This is one of the rivers that we've come across on this trip. It's just flooded the road, there's no bridge. We're only 25 minutes away from where we're supposed to be, but cannot go any further. Some guys here are carrying motorbikes across, but my bike's too heavy, so I don't know what the hell we're gonna do right now. It's pretty deep, and it's flowing fast enough to be a problem. But as always in Indonesia, there is always a solution and always people willing to help. For a small fee, there are some friendly locals cashing in on the broken roads and offering a service. This is how you get a bike across the river with no bridge. the river thanks to the help of these guys but it's deep and it's not very nice and it's certainly not what we expected today okay I can see Zapai Jopa wow crazy we made it almost here huh wow yeah wow look at that Rusak. Oh. Where do I go? Ah. Whoa. Oh my god. Look at that. Holy shit. I think I'm maybe supposed to go on that that bit, maybe. Fucking hell. Fuck me. Jesus! Ah, no, just wait. Oh, holy shit. No, I think we're okay. We're okay. It's just super slippery, babe. You know? My God, that was insane. Oh, my God, what the fuck? What the fuck? It's a well deserved meal. Yeah, where are we sleeping tonight? Tent. Where inside? Where? Where are we? Inside of the past. <laughs> Kezia's cooked a fantastic meal. Well done. Good morning. I'm here in a village called Nantu. It was a hell of a journey getting here yesterday. Really bad. And now I've had a terrible night's sleep. I've got a bad stomach. Now we're about to go hiking into the forest. The last people that came here was a month ago. Maybe more. Maybe more, yeah. So. Not many people come here, and I can see why. It's super remote. It took us three and a half hours to get here from Gorontalo City, through rivers and muddy tracks. The roads are absolutely terrible. But let's hope it's worth it. <laughs> so we're walking through the sweet corn fields now to get to the start of this forest it's really a strange place to start a trek 
such an adventure. You like it? Okay. Well, now we walk across there. You ready? Okay, yeah, I got you. Okay, I'm going to yeah! <laughs> Adventure! Yeah. That was really fast. I nearly fell over a few times. Welcome to Nantu. How was that? It was strong, right? It's like so spiky, the yeah. rocks there. So strong, I nearly fell over a few times. If I didn't hold on to it him. Is a, you hold camera. Ranger Station. Hello. 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 This is the Ranger Station in Nantu Forest. Even though we had all the permits required to enter this protected forest, the Rangers just couldn't believe we came all this way alone for only one day and only to see the Babi Rusa. But after some sweet talking, they allowed us to enter. Yeah. Yeah. This is real primary yeah. rainforest. So deep in the jungle here. Amazing. That is just a huge tree that has fallen over here in this swamp. Because that's what this is. This is a, a primary forest swamp. Unbelievable. It's just an amazing rainforest. Oh, those are so sharp. Don't mind my head on them. Fuck. We came all this way on this journey to see this weird animal called a babirusa. And he's over there right now. It's getting close, baby. It's getting close. The baby is not so bad. It's stinking. We see not one, not two, not three, not four, but five. Five babies. Maybe more. It was a baby as well. It was amazing. We're so lucky. So lucky. The Babi Rusa is a unique type of jungle pig, which is endemic to Indonesia. And this particular species is only found here in Sulawesi. This incredible animal has very distinctive tusks and is very shy. The most unique thing about Nantu is the large number of natural salt licks. And the Babi Rusa are particularly attracted to these areas because it contains important electrolytes for their diet. Makasih bro, ya. Makasih banyak, ya. Dan kita ikut, ya. Wow, so that was Hutan Nantu, which is the, the only place in Sulawesi where you can consistently see the Babirusa. 
Was, did you like it, Kezia? Was it worth it? It's worth it. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, I think so too. So that's it for this episode. Please join me next week where I'll be traveling down to central Sulawesi and visiting the mysterious megalithic valleys of Basoa and Napu. Thank you, and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content.